Hey gearheads and welcome to Grouse Talk. I'm Corey. I'm Holly. Back there is Tucker. Yep, that's me. And Chevy has loaned us by special request their 2024 Suburban High Country with Super Cruise. And I have posited that this is perhaps the perfect road trip vehicle. I have strong feelings on the matter. Not so sure about you, but we'll get into all of that. Stay tuned. All right, Holly, no hands. You're freaking me out. <laughs> I love it. This has been such a relaxing road trip and- Relaxing. Let's, yes, let's oh just get God. into the elephant in the room, which an elephant could fit in here. <laughs> we'll talk about Super Cruise first and then everything else about this vehicle. We have loved, I have loved for a road trip because when we did our family review of this video, you weren't so sure if this was the perfect. And we're going to examine that when we get to the end. But Super Cruise, what is it, Holly? It's hands-free driving. And for over a thousand miles on this road trip, uh, we have traveled in this vehicle. And a, probably 800 of those miles, easily 700 of those miles, I have not been touching the steering wheel. And it's been stressing me out. Has <laughs> it? Has it? Yeah, some of You've just things. been passenger princess over there. You've been working. You've been doing all kinds of stuff <laughs> from the passenger That's seat. That's true. All right. Okay, when I look at you, it stresses me out. <laughs> what Super Cruise is, is General Motors hands-free cruise control system. There are still protocols in place to make sure a driver is sitting here and is paying attention. And we'll really get into that when I put you behind the wheel, because I'm, uh, I'm I putting so. you behind the wheel. Uh, this really is the best system. We recently had the Ram 1500, which they quietly rolled out. Stellantis did their hands-free driving. Uh, I tested that. You tested Ford's Blue Cruise. This is better than all of them. And the biggest thing we're about to experience, because we're coming up on slower traffic, this will do automatic lane changes on highways. So freeways, interstates, like we're on right now, uh, I can preset my speed. It's got adaptive cruise. As we get up to solar traffic, it's gonna look all around us, make sure the lane is clear, and then it's gonna move over. We currently have a GMC Sierra AT4 coming up behind us. Once it passes us, we're gonna pass this 18 wheeler. All without me, the driver, doing anything. GM safety seat, it's gonna give me a little buzz. On my left side, letting me know it's gonna get over. It puts the blinker on. It just changed lanes. I've done nothing. And now we're accelerating to go past this. I mean, call me old school, old but school. I just like to have control of the, <laughs> of the and then wheel. It's actually knowing that now we're in the left lane, the passing lane, it's gonna get us back over once we've cleared that 18 wheeler, again, it's gonna give me a buzz on my right side of my seat, which it just did. It's gonna put the blinker on and it's gonna move us over. If for any reason I didn't want that to happen, I could hit the blinker in the opposite direction of what it's wanting to do and it would cancel that. So really cool. Another thing that blew my mind about Super Cruise is it is watching on ramps. So it will uh, watch for traffic coming on an on ramp. If it sees somebody, it'll go ahead and get over to allow traffic to merge on. Another thing I joked about. But I'm, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Uh, so Chevy had me out to Fort Worth to try out Super Cruise with a trailer hooked up. It is the only hands-free system that will work with a trailer in tow. Oh, I'd be real stressed out. Now, it will not do the automatic lane change with a trailer in tow without additional equipment but it does everything else. And it's the only one that will work with a trailer in tow. So I have a whole video on that. I will link it if you're watching on YouTube. But Holly, the time has come to nope. put you in the driver's seat to sample Super Cruise. Nope. Yes, I it is watch. happening. Smash cut to Holly behind the wheel. All right, Holly. Long straight stretch of highway, pre-mapped, ready for Super Cruise. This vehicle's got it. it. We're doing it. it. We're doing it. 
So I will say this vehicle has normal cruise control, adaptive cruise control, and super cruise. So regular, just speed. Adaptive, speed, but adjusts. I don't adjusts. Even like adaptive. I know, I know. And you didn't like Ford's Blue Cruise, but this is the best hands-free that there is. It does curvy roads. You, you've, you've been with me, you know. So, to get it to work. And I've told you the issues. <laughs> to get it to work. All your buttons are on the left side of your steering wheel there. But the one in question that is most important is the actual Super Cruise button with the steering wheel and the dotted lines. So. It's, on, it's this one? Yes. When you are ready, set Super Cruise. And when you do, your steering wheel will light up uh, green up here when it's okay for you to let go. Everything on your head up display will light up green when it's ready for you to let go. So. I can already see the gray icon here. It, we're ready. Do I need to push it or? I'm not ready. <laughs> I mean, you said when I'm ready, I but, need to mentally prepare. Well, all you have to do is sit there like you've done this entire trip. <laughs> I need to do Just so pretend please. I'm there. Just pretend I'm sitting there. Push the button. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Okay, this one? Yes. All right, your steering wheel's green. Everything's set. You can let go. Wait, you have it set too fast. Well, you can adjust that with the... Yeah. This? Yeah. I want it. Okay. I think she should let go. I'm not ready. I think she should let go too. I'm not ready. Just Me and the car are not ready. No, the car is definitely ready. I can see all the green it's lights. It's not. It's not going it's the just, right speed. It's, it's fighting me on the steering wheel. Well, that's because it's trying to drive. Just, I'm trying to drive. Just let go. Just let go. Now, you have multiple cameras watching your eyeballs, making sure you're paying attention to the road ahead, that your eyes are actually paying attention to the road ahead, because your face... Your face could be looking forward, but your eyes could be looking over here, and it'll blink at you and say, eh. Nah. Uh, it's also got multiple cameras looking at the lines on the road. So even though this has been pre-mapped by General Motors, it's still watching the lanes on the road, making sure construction isn't an issue. It will give you warnings that uh, you're going through construction zones. It kind of works through construction. But I mean, what do I do with my hand? I've just been, you know, kind of crossing my arms, just getting comfortable. I feel like I need to be at the ready. At the ready. But you don't. Like, you've literally seen me put a thousand miles on this vehicle, and I've touched the steering wheel for maybe, I'm maybe, a control freak. 200 of them. You're a control freak? I'm a control freak. So, I like to be in control of the driving. I mean, we're going on a curve right now. You're not doing anything but sitting there. So I'm stressing out. That's what I'm doing, <laughs> sitting here. We've got an even bigger curve yeah, here. And Aaron's stressing out. <laughs> yeah. So, Chevrolet did introduce us with pretty much the interstate system mapped out, but now they are doubling the amount of available roads that uh, this... Why is it blinking at it's, me? Take I'm control. Looking. Oh. It says lane ending, so take control. Oh. So there are certain situations on exterior roads like this that are not interstate roads. You'll let me know when I can let go. It's like, hey, yeah. maybe you take control. Like right now, you can let go again. Yeah, you can let go. Uh, now it's doing the thing where it bounces back and forward. Okay, now, now it knows where we're yes. at. It knows where we're at. So yes, there are some issues uh, where road conditions or on roads like this that aren't the interstate aren't perfectly pre-mapped yeah, and it'll kind of chime in you've got the gm safety seat it'll buzz you on the booty it buzzed and, my booty and let you know hey something's happening pay attention grab the wheel if it's flashing red at you grab the wheel but i mean generally speaking i do like the booty buzz <laughs> too <laughs> What's easy the official word for it GM safety seat. Oh, that's not as fine as no. a booty bus. No. And see, th yeah. this yeah. situation right here, where we've got two lanes that appeared out of nowhere, there's a passing lane. When it merges back down to one, it will buzz you and say, take control. Because again, this is one of the added roads that Chevrolet has added to the interstate system. 
and uh, it'll tell you to take control until you get back down to that one lane again, and then we're all good. See, look, you're a pro already. I'm still stressing out. Other I mean, I will say I've been impressed with how many roads, even across um, West Texas and small roads, mm -hmm. even out in the National Park, yep. um, that it was mapped out to be. Yep. I will say some downsides on roads like this. We've got two lanes here. It will not do automatic lane change. So while yes, Super Cruise does work, not all of the features work as if we were on the interstate. Are you ready to be done? You want me back over there? Yeah, I, it would be less stressful. Okay. In well, the seat. are you ready? All right, we're back. I think you liked it more than you let on. Hmm. You have used it when cameras weren't running and you did not seem all that stressed out. I okay, think you like so it. I will say this. It is less clunky than um, Blue, Cruise. Blue Cruise, for sure, 100%. When we, when we drove that one, and I'm sure they're trying to make that better and improve it because it was pretty new technology when we tried it out a couple years ago, yep. I felt like we were bouncing. Yeah. All across the lines. Uh, this so is been, working at it, but yeah, but you don't feel it. You're not like phew, phew. <laughs> um, and with all the miles we've put on this uh, SUV, I have been really impressed with how smooth it has been. Even the adaptive part of the cruise control, because that's the thing I don't like about adaptive cruise control. Is you get behind an 18 wheeler that's going slow, and it's like, oh, like. You're about to run into them in the back end. I'm like, I, that is not a fun riding experience for me. But this has been really smooth. I also was super impressed with the on-ramp mm -hmm. movements. It does make me a little nervous, but I would probably use it okay. on roads like this. Yep. Now, if we're talking about busier roads like I-20 or like getting into Dallas. I even turned I it off getting it into Dallas sense. because it was trying to do a little too much with the lane changing and the watching. Heavy traffic, yeah, I, I still say turn it off. But here we're coming up to a vehicle on the shoulder. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blinker on. It moves over, I love it, it works well. Uh, to your point, yes, it's not ping-ponging from lane to lane. Uh, it's staying fairly smooth. And as I alluded to when we started this, this really has been a stress-free experience for me behind the wheel because we are in West Texas. What is in West Texas to block the wind? Nothing except us. So typically out here in this part of Texas, you are fatigued from trying to keep the vehicle straight. Street. Like we got to Midland on our first leg of this trip and I I was fine. Like the mental physical fatigue that Super Cruise lifts from you is worth the added cost of making sure you get a vehicle that does have Super Cruise. Now, Chevy is trickling this down to tons of vehicles in their lineup from the super affordable now discontinued but you can probably still find a new one on the lot chevy bolt ev and euv all the way up to this ninety two thousand dollar behemoth of a vehicle but yeah very impressed with how well it works gm is rolling out doubling down on how many roads it works on i was impressed going to the national park uh, it it works on other roads besides just interstates just without automatic lane change so very impressed all right super cruise done out of the way uh what are some other things that have impressed you with this as a road trip vehicle the storage <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean there's not very much of it but <laughs> come on I mean, now i mean that back there is like a whole our whole living room we could have camped at big bend national park back there just fine we we brought extra bags because we had the room like yeah we were uh, we asked for this vehicle it was originally going to be four adults and two children so we knew we wanted something big planes changed but now like the embarrassment of space that we have <laughs> for our little family yeah. of three um but it is nice 
and moms will know this when you have kids um, to have the space to bring the toys, bring the snacks, bring the drinks, you know, um, so you don't have to stop every five seconds on the road. So that's we nice. even have a refrigerator plugged up in the back back there. So we are good to go. Uh, got all kinds of stuff. If you want to know some in-depth stuff on the storage, Holly is working on a piece for a girl's guide to cars. Go check that out. She goes in depth. There's a lot of storage stuff that we also touched on in our full family review of this, but she's had the experience of like living in this now. Yeah. So yeah, very impressed with the storage. Uh, some things that have impressed me, the fuel on this. We have the Duramax diesel engine. We just filled up in Alpine, Texas, 677 miles now that we can go. You may have seen on our story, if you've been following along on Instagram, Facebook, wherever, uh, we filled up in Midland and it was 570 some odd miles. I was after some hard, fast Texas highway speeds, uh, but filling up in um, Alpine, I'm still seeing 600 miles of range. We're averaging 22.8 over our 1100 miles so far on this trip. So very impressed with the range of this diesel, the power of it, it's more than amped to get up and go to highway speeds. And then the ride. Tell me about your experience with the air ride suspension on this. Yeah, it's been really smooth. Yeah. Um, it's been a nice ride. I've been thoroughly impressed. Air ride is the way to go. So between the engine, which I would highly recommend for road trips, the air ride suspension, which I would highly recommend for road trips, the super cruise, which I would highly recommend for road trips. And we even have screens back here in the back. Though to use the built-in stuff, you have to pay for a subscription. That's a big thumbs down, Chevy. But we brought our Apple TV. When you're paying $92,000 for a car. I know. We brought our Apple TV uh, with us, which we were able to plug into the HDMI ports back there. So Tucker has been able to watch uh, stuff back there, but he's also playing on his iPad. Plenty of places to charge devices in here. So with the exception of the subscription service, like the perfect road trip vehicle, right? Oh. And okay. No shades on the back windows. Yeah, so another demerit. Sorry, there are, that's, that's a ding. Yeah, no roll-up shades on the passenger windows back in the back. So, uh, not great. But getting back to Super Cruise, it's telling me we're in a construction zone, drive with care, but it is still following all the necessary lines. It's getting a little close for my comfort, but handled that little bit with a plum. But yeah, all right, subscription on the screens, no shades. Otherwise, very nice road trip, right? Nice road trip. If you didn't want no to pay- No massaging seats. Yes. That'd be you, nice. You gotta get the GMC version for that. Um, if you wanted this platform as a road trip vehicle, but you didn't need all that space back there, you can downsize a little bit, get the Tahoe. I priced one out for don't get the less, less than $90,000. So you don't have to crest that $90,000 plateau if you like this platform. Still down on the Tahoe. All it is is a shorter version of this. Still down on the Tahoe. Oh man, I thought we won you over. No. Not yeah. on the Tahoe. What is it about the Tahoe? It, it didn't have the step, did it? I don't think so. It was a pre-owned Z71 a few years ago. So it wasn't really a fair test. Chevy, please send us a new one. Maybe the 2025 with all the screens. Well, let me just tell you from a short person's perspective, when there isn't a step and you're having to crawl into an SUV, a huge SUV, your experience is already off to a bad start. I'm already grumpy getting behind the steering wheel. So maybe that's why I didn't like the Tahoe. Well, the good news is you could get a Tahoe just like this one. Like I said, I built online on their website already. Spec just the same, just a little bit shorter. So steps, the uh, uh, adjustable ride height, all the things that we love about this, we can get in a shorter platform that costs less money. Mm. So. Chevy, please send us a 2025 doll. <laughs> and on that note, if you want to see more from Holly, read her story on A Girl's Guide to Cars. Go check her out.
over at a girl's guide to cars or follow her on facebook and instagram at female consumer you can find all things gt garage talk including seeing our entire story of this west texas trip i put it in the highlights on instagram everything there is at gt garage talk facebook instagram tiktok x threads youtube you name it at gt garage talk or you can go to gtgarage But as for us, I guess I'm just gonna sit here for the next 270 miles while the Chevy pilots us, because we've got enough fuel, we've got super cruise, I'm good to go. On that note, until next time, gearheads. Bye. Bye. There was an on-ramp on a turn and I was like, I don't know what to do. 2024, soup, blah, blah. I'm gonna have to, sorry, everybody, that's on me. Who's not ready? Me. Okay, dude. You straighten the camera, like just try and twist it a little. Yeah, but then it wasn't. We were, we were talking, we were doing the video, buddy. We're not doing the first intro part because we already did it, remember? We're just finishing. Okay, we're just finishing up the part we missed.